All right, Shalom, so first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Bokakodash. All right, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh Shai, you know, the only begotten Son, and, uh, you know, Bokakodash meaning uh, Spirit Holy. Um, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, and peace and blessings to the elect of Israel out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. All right, uh, this. <laughs> Hey, this 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 video's you know main purpose is you know just to tell brothers hey don't get caught up in all these different narratives and you know the the that's going out on social media and mainstream media, all right? Because there's heavy, uh, uh you know narratives going out. <laughs> just just be mindful of that, man. And you know I'm gonna start off by reading Second Corinthians two and eleven. It says lest Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. All right, and we know, hey amen. We know this is just another way to to uh, crack down or bring out that agenda of labeling, you know, whoever they want as domestic terrorists and taking away, you know, certain uh, liberties, um, or yeah, certain liberties, you know, <clears throat> because now you've had both both parties uh, uh, committing uh, domestic terrorists you know, uh, uh, actions, um, you know, whether it be the left committing the Black Lives Matter protests, you still had burnings and, uh, uh, you know, destruction happening, and then now you have, you know, marches, protest, protests, but that it's another form of domestic terrorism, man, so this is, this is, you know, Esau's way to say, hey, you can protest, but you can't, you can't get violent. You know, you can't bring guns. They're going to start taking away those those guns, man. And and, and if you have a gun, then you're going to be looked at as a domestic terrorist. And that's where it's going to start. You know, if you if you lean too far, you know, one political ideology, then it's going to go to uh, uh, religion. And then it's going to go, you know, it, they, we, we, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. This is uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, we, we already know what's up, man. I mean, we, we've already... Because, hey, Second Ezra 15. Uh, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right, and that's what we saw today, you know. They marched right into Capitol Hill <laughs> with, with swords, and the modern-day sword is, you know, guns. It says, uh, For thou, there shall be sedition among men, or division, conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against authority or state or monarch, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Yeah, even Trump was like, hey, go home, like... <laughs> we're just like, nah, we want to rebel. You know, crazy shit. And the course of their action shall stand in their power. Yeah, and then also, you know, you had Democratic leaders, you know, supposedly telling, uh, you know, the Black Lives Matter protesters to not burn down buildings, but they still fucking did. You know, they're not giving a shit about the kings or princes. And yeah, we know that there's COINTELPRO, but they're also operating on both sides. You know, you can't get caught up into the left right race uh, like narrative man we 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 have the narrative of Yahweh Bashim al shot that narrative is that the elect of Israel is getting saved point blank period all right not not republic democrat and black white latino blah 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 the bullshit all right it's Yahweh Bashim al shot his elect and the one third of Israel, those are going to be delivered from all this chaos and confusion going on. Because again, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So if you know what's going on, you're not going to get caught up in all this confusion. You know, because <laughs> cause everything that you see on social media is just confusion. They, everybody likes to point out the problems like, <laughs> it's like, Bro, no one's even arguing against them. Like, yeah, everybody sees that. That's like a, a like this shouldn't have happened. 
<laughs> but because everybody's talking about the problem, there's no solution. You know, nobody has a solution. Nobody. But but you know, us in the truth, we know what's going on, man. The Most High is bringing judgment to this place ultimately, and He's doing it through ways, <laughs> through through uh, what seemingly mysterious ways, but they're known unto the elect. You know, it's just prophecy. Just let it happen. Uh, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And right when this happened, a curfew was set in for six o'clock. You know, shut down. Just like what happened with the coronavirus, two week shutdown. And you sh and and expect more more of these domestic terrorist attacks, whether they be false flags or the real fucking deal, they're gonna happen. Whether they're democratic leaning ideology if they're neo-nazi ideology if they're uh, uh black extremists if they're white supremacist if they're it doesn't fucking matter expect more of this shit all right and then you know as a result you know you're gonna have those martial laws for because of their pride their city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid men shall have no pity upon his neighbor they shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yeah, because with all this chaos going on, you you, ex you better expect uh, 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 famine, man. <laughs> you know, everybody has time to go protest and shit, but nobody's working, man. <laughs> you know, I think uh, I saw a statistic that said, you know, like 50... 50% of the world's population are eating from the rest of the 50% of the world's population. Meaning, you know, for every farmer there is, they have to feed themselves and another person. Which means, if the farmers stop uh, working for everybody else, they just feed themselves, half, that's half the population right there. Or if those trucks can't even get in to a city, Boom. You got three days until people start acting crazy. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Um, I, I wanted to highlight this, too. This is Second Ezra 16. I'll start at, uh, I'll start at 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Yeah, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Ain't no bodies dropping yet, man. I mean, there, there's one. <laughs> woman shot during U.S. Capitol siege dies as Virginia governor. Hey, but the scriptures talk about mass deaths, mass judgment, man. You know, so this is the beginning, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death. <laughs> great death, great death, great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Hey, repent. Call on the names of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. Get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So it's the stability of thy time. Because this scripture in Revelation 3 and 11 is going to just constantly go. And, and it's, you know, it's one of my favorite ones. These two are like my favorite. You know, it's always going through my head anyways, but especially during these times. Revelation 3 and 11, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Meaning, Yahweh Shai is coming. Hold that fast which thou hast, meaning hold on tightly to whatever wisdom and knowledge and understanding you have, that no man take thy crown. And what's that crown? It represents salvation, but also it's going to be a physical crown that he's going to crown the elect with. But ultimately, it's that crown of salvation. So, <laughs> these prophecies, we're holding on to them, man. We know what the fuck's going on. So whenever they try to, you know, pull these little narratives and, you know, try to pull on your heart heartstrings, get an emotional reaction out of people, we know what the fuck's going on. We know that judgment is being brought upon <laughs> the world, all right? Primarily America, because, <laughs> hey, man, the, the, the wicked philosophies that they push, man across the whole world that's why it's getting judged you know heavily um it says behold famine 
and plague, tribulation, and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Yeah, and that's the answer. You know, everybody's wondering, oh, why does 2020 have to suck so bad? Why is 2021 already off to a worse start? Hey, man, these things happen because, hey, he's trying to, you know, scourges for amendment. Now let's go into these words, scourges, a whip used as an instrument of punishment. So they're sent as a punishment. And then, you know, this not all doom and gloom, right? Because amendment means a minor change or addition designed to improve a text piece of literature. Now, ultimately, this is talking about, uh, or obviously, this is talking about, uh, uh, you know, amendment for Israel, all right? You know, whenever Israel is caught in a fucked up situation, that's when you should really, like, stop thinking, like, damn, I fucked up. What did I do wrong? Well, how, like, what do I need to do to be better? So all these things happen as scourges, as a correcting whip, man. It's like, hey, get your ass right. You're like, oh, shit. All right, my bad. Let me get back on that straight and narrow. Uh, verse 20, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges. <laughs> yeah, man, because they get whipped and they, they're like, oh, shit, uh, we need to do something. And then they forget about it and they turn right back to their wickedness, you know? I don't, man. Because, like I said earlier in the video, you know, everybody likes to point out the problems of what's going on in society. and Everybody thinks that they're these you know, social warriors, you know, pointing out the flaws of, you know, everybody's actions and all these protests. Oh, the media ha uh, likes to twist everything. Man, people on social media twist things even further, man. You know, because it's their own vain fucking opinion. You know, everybody knows what the problem is, but nobody has the fucking solution except for the elect. All right, the elect know what <laughs> what's going to save us, man. It's the hour shot. Not the guns that you bring into Capitol Hill. Not pro peaceful protest. Not violent protest. <laughs> Man, people are through. Not not a recount in the voting system. Fucking, hey. I ain't gonna save you. Yahweh Bashim al is the only thing that can save you. And if you're not chosen, you know, to be part of the elect to get saved, then, hey, you're just gonna have to perish. But verse 21, this is a point that I wanted to get. It says, Behold, victuals, which is meat, you know, uh, shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth. <laughs> Sword, famine, and great confusion. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's why people think that, you know, 2021 that still has a, a chance to get better. You know, it's because everybody's, you know, still still can get DoorDash or Uber Eats delivered, you know, for fairly cheap. You know, people are still getting their little stimulus checks. Hey, chill. They, you know, they, they think that they're in a good case, but even then shall evils grow upon earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion, and great confusion. Oh, yeah, all these false narratives, all these, um, or true. But the thing is, is people can't, they don't know how to discern what's true and what's fake. And with little shit like this, hey, we already know where this is getting at. They're trying to be able to demonize anybody as a threat, as a domestic terrorist, and shut anything down, man. It's about total control, right? It's about government getting bigger and, and more laws to make you a fucking... Slave, man. And ultimately take the chip. You know, box you into a corner where you you have no other way out except die for your help by Shemal Shah or take the chip for the new world order. For their new world order, I should say. You know? Um, uh, it says, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy so yeah that's what it's going to get down to man is 
you know, survival of the fittest, but even the fittest are going to die by that, the thermonuclear missiles. And even the elite that have these bunkers and, you know, celebrities that have these bunkers, hey, the angels are going out to search those bunkers. You know, scriptures talk about that too, but hey, main point, don't get caught up in, you know, these little narratives and shit. That's really why I wanted to make this video, you know? Just stick, stick to prophecy and you'll be smooth sailing, you know? <laughs> hey, it's going to be funny, you know, interacting with people in the world. You know, they're just going to be trying to tell you what's, you know, like like I said, they love to tell you what, what's wrong with what happened. They don't have the fucking answers. You know, after they, look, tomorrow, or after you watch this video and people start talking to you about what's wrong with, you know, this country and this, say, all right, what's the solution? Uh, 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 that, that's all that comes out of their fucking mouths, man. Is, alright, Trump supporters are racist, okay, what's the solution? Black Lives Matter protesters, they're a bunch of, uh, uh, what is it, socialist, Marxism. It's like, okay, what's the solution? They don't fucking have one. They just want to be able to have a scapegoat, man. And ultimately, that, that scapegoat is going to be, you know, the elect, man. The ones that prophesied about this. Tried to give them warning. Like it says in uh, Matthew 24, man. Hey. hey it may not be 24. It says, uh... It's not 24. It's like it. It says in Matthew 5. But I don't. that's not the one that I'm thinking of. Uh, I mean, it, there's another point in it. It says, Matthew 5, and I'll start at 11. Or I'll start at 10. It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, you best believe we're going to be persecuted. We're going to be labeled domestic terrorists one of these days. Just for having the ideology of America is going to be destroyed by nuclear missiles. Even though it's prophesied in the scriptures. It's not like we decided that. <laughs> hey, it's the most highest plan. But yeah, we're going to be uh, 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 persecuted for just believing that. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward. In heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Yeah, because the prophets of old were hated. You know? Because what did the prophets of old do? They prophesied of wars and against many kingdoms. You know, tell them, telling them to repent, that your time's up. That's what we're doing. America's time is up. Alright, and if you're trying to hold on to whatever the fuck's left in America, I don't know what these people see it here in America, what they're trying to hold on to, but they're blind, man, the most I gave them over to their strong delusions, they're going to fall with it, unless they repent, and come unto, you know, into the truth of being an Israelite, and that, and, you know, calling on the names of Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah, his son, that's the only way you can be saved. But yeah, don't don't get caught up in all this, because there's gonna be more stuff like this and more confusing narratives. And hey, just stick to stick to prophecy and hasten, hasten the hour shots coming. Like 2021, hastening is coming. But yeah, man, don't don't believe any of this shit. Oh, and if you if you still look, I'll put it to you this way: if you cry watching movies. Then you, <laughs> if you cry watching, you know, fictional movies, then you, you're definitely crying watching this shit, you know? You gotta wake up to, to the entertainment, how they push certain messages on you. But especially this, because this is the same way. But yeah, don't, hey, don't, we're not ignorant of his devices, Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And the fear of the Lord is its treasure. Alright, Shalom.
Okay, call alone law, Yahweh Bashan Al Shai. You know, again, double honors to the apostles and others a great millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect out there uh, who, who will. Shalom.